when a leading health scientist says that the pain and risk of arthritis can be drastically reduced. It's worth listening. I think that um, a lot of arthritis is preventable. And it's all to do with the, the economics of cartilage. So cartilage is a living tissue and it's continually being worn away and continually being replaced. And if over time the defective diet that you're eating or in some cases a, a particular kind of lifestyle, and I'll talk about that more in a minute, is reducing the ability of the body to grow new cartilage and at the same time increasing the destruction of cartilage, over time your cartilage will thin. And that's what we see in many people. So what can we do to accentuate the positive, to support the recovery regenerative side and to eliminate the negative or at least reduce the rate of cartilage destruction? Well, I would say derived from a lot of reading in and around this area. First of all, reduce the stresses on cartilage and they would include excessive physical loading. So overweight is a known risk factor. Um, so those are lifestyle issues which uh, you can deal with to a certain extent. Cartilage also is destroyed by inflammation caused by other sources. So to reduce the pro-inflammatory climate in the body in general is a good thing. So you've got your omega-3s, you've got your polyphenols, you've got your beta-glucans, all of those things. Bring down inflammation in the body in general, reduce inflammatory tone in the joints as well, and will help to slow the rate of cartilage destruction. How do we support cartilage regeneration? People talk about glucosamine. Well, yes, up to a point. But the point is, to make cartilage, you need a lot more than glucosamine. So you also need the cofactors, which go along with glucosamine, which include manganese. You need the, co the essential factors, uh, which support the more proteinaceous components of cartilage. And for that, you need uh, proline, hydroxyproline, vitamin C, zinc, copper, B6, and a range of other things like that. I mean, again, once again, forget the idea of magic bullets, a single component to treat a complex disorder. That's pharmaceutical thinking. That's 19th century thinking. It's really very obsolete. So why the emphasis on inflammation? Well, chronic subclinical inflammation is now seen as the underlying cause of arthritis and indeed other age-related diseases. Authorities like UCLA at Berkeley say that low-grade inflammation, this is a continuous level of inflammation but subclinical, not noticeable, is associated with everything from heart disease and diabetes to Alzheimer's and arthritis and may even be the cause of most chronic diseases. And Scientific American concurs. Inflammation is an underlying contributor to virtually every chronic disease, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, diabetes and depression, along with the major killers such as heart disease and stroke. And now the connection between inflammation and cancer has moved to center stage. And Dr. Clayton himself says, if chronic inflammation is allowed to run unchecked, tissues become dysfunctional and then fail, which is essentially a definition of aging and age-related disease. And he says, if you're about 50 and over, you will have accumulated damage from this type of inflammation. So this type of chronic subclinical inflammation, if it isn't reduced, can lead to heart disease, stroke, cancer, dementia, diabetes, sexual dysfunction, osteoporosis, and skin aging. Because health on the inside is reflected in health on the outside. So if you risk arthritis, you risk a number of other diseases that are related to inflammation. So what should you do? Well, the first priority is to make sure your diet is high in anti-inflammatory nutrients. And that's why Dr. Clayton has produced a, a cookbook, which is free, featuring the type of anti-inflammatory foods that will reduce the risk of not just arthritis, but other age-related diseases. And he has also designed a supplement which combines 
rich levels of vitamins and minerals, but with anti-inflammatory and indeed antioxidant nutrients, which is why it's unique. They include flavonoids from green tea, grapeseed extract, and curcumin, all powerful anti-inflammatories, soy isoflavone, omega-3 fatty acids from fish, another powerful anti-inflammatory, and carotenoids like lutein and lycopene, which are associated with other health benefits, and much more. Dr. Clayton has spent 30 years researching the impact of nutrition upon health. NutriShield combines this latest medical research with nutrients that he has identified in the diets of those peoples around the world who lived the longest and lived the healthiest. So we invite you to go to NutriShield.com for fuller details.